Hey everyone, I wanted to come to you today and give you some ideas on how you can meal prep faster. So I have some favorite tools that I wanna share with you today. And maybe you're like me where you have these great intentions of meal prepping, um, but then you're like, oh, I ran out of time, right? Or you buy all these different fruits and vegetables in the whole form and then you're like, I'll cut that up when I get home and then you realize a week and a half later that you still have that head of cauliflower and that head of broccoli and you never chopped anything up and now they're getting really bad and you might have to throw them away. So instead of wasting your money, I wanna show you how you can meal prep in a hurry using some of my favorite tools. So some cutting tools that I have and also my tool that does a lot of things. So let me show you really quick what some of these favorite tools are. So the first one is the simple slicer. So you can see this here. Um, this has a really sharp blade, which is why it comes with a food holder and you always use the food holder and you simply put your food in here. So maybe you like to slice up a whole bunch of potatoes or onions or peppers or mushrooms um, or tomatoes or zucchini or cucumbers or all kinds of different things that you want to just simply quickly slice. You could do this in such a speedy time that you will, and if you compared yourself to just chopping and slicing everything, you're gonna save 75% of your time by simply doing some simple slicing. So let me show you how this works. I have a potato here, and there's actually three different settings as far as thicknesses. So you have a one, two, and three, and it just depends on what you're looking for. Um, I will just put this on a two for now, and then you just put this on top, which has prongs, and you pop that down. And then I am just going to, let's see if I can show you this. You can have it so come right out. You just push down the, the top as you go. And look how fast that was. I have completely cut up my potato. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> and the whole thing is dishwasher safe as well. So you don't need to worry about cleaning it and um, cutting yourself, although you totally can clean it in the in the um, sink because all you have to do is put this on the lock setting and then you can quickly wash it. Hi Mandy. Yes, you need one of these. So again, peppers, onions, potatoes, um, even carrots, zucchini, cucumbers, a whole bunch of things that you can slice up in whatever thickness you like. Maybe you like paper thin. We've got paper thin. That would be number one setting. And you saw how fast that that worked. So this is called the Simple Slicer. And I love it. I use it all the time to slice quickly some of my favorite things. Another one, and glad you're here, Mandy. Share what you love to meal prep. Um, this is called the Quick Slice. So this is going to do uh, little thin slices of things. So for example, I'm gonna cut a piece of pepper here. And you put your pepper right on the top you can see that this is also good for strawberries and mushrooms and little cherry tomatoes and regular sized tomatoes and cheese and ham and spam and <laughs> all kinds of things. But you saw that I rocked it and pushed it down and I got all these perfect slices for peppers. So maybe you like to do hummus with peppers or maybe you like to do cucumbers and you want to just quickly do a chunk of that or zucchini. Um, I love doing this for cheese, so if you like cheese slices, rather than cutting each individual piece, you can simply just slice it. It has some serrated blades, which you can maybe kind of see there. And the whole thing, again, goes in the dishwasher. Super easy cleanup. And here's an extra bonus. You can take these same peppers and you can turn them underneath. You see how I've done that, right? And then you simply rock and push down again and now you have diced peppers, perfectly diced, which would have taken you a little bit longer to actually do um, with a knife. And if you always think about, well, I'm not good with a knife, then you might not actually do this, but the quick slice actually empowers you to get this done. This is how you get more veggies in your meals. So quick slice, you've seen the simple slicer, now the quick slice, and I have ideas for the quick slice as well on my um, blog, which are really from A to Z. You can even do apple slices in there from, <laughs> from apples to zucchini. The only things you wouldn't do are raw carrots and raw potatoes. They're a little too dense. And a big chunk of onion would be a little too dense. But if you had smaller little pieces, you could totally do that too. 
Now, I wanna show you, if you do not like cutting up onions because they make you cry, or maybe you just simply don't wanna to have to touch them, I wanna show you how you can do that in a really speedy way too. I've just got a little red onion here, and this is one of my favorite tools for quickly chopping up everything to like a mince or just a dice. This is called the manual food processor. And how this works is you simply just put your food in here, which could be green bell peppers, any bell pepper really, jalapenos, cilantro, onions. Um, you could make your own fresh salsa in here by just continuing to add more. You can make add more of your ingredients. You can make guacamole, you can make hummus, you can do all kinds of things. And it doesn't require any electricity. So even if you're camping, you can bring this with you. But you, this has a nice silicone uh, ring on the base, so it's not going to move around as you're pumping it. But you just set it down, and you just pump it. Was that maybe 10, maybe not even 10 um, pumps? But you can see how quickly that diced it all up. Now, if I wanted to be even finer, you just pump it. And now it's even finer. So this little blade here just sits right in there. This is dishwasher safe, this is dishwasher safe. The only other thing you need to do is just wash this with just a little soapy water without submerging it. This is the lid and that's because the motor is inside. You don't wanna get that full of water. If you should, it's no big deal. You just let it sit like this with the pumping handle down, it will drain out. So what do you guys think of those? I love these three tools for helping me meal prep and cut up different fruits and vegetables. Even if you like to do riced um, cauliflower, you can put chunks of cauliflower in here and then you do the pumping action and it will grind it up fine. You can do that with mushrooms and it will look like ground beef crumbles. You can do it with broccoli and you have these fine little pieces of broccoli that you can integrate into all different types of foods, even meatballs, making your own meatballs with broccoli. We have a great recipe for that on our on the Pamper Chef website. So the other thing I wanna share with you is one of my favorite things. And this can really help you do meals in less time and you can also meal prep with it as well. And it is my quick cooker. <laughs> I love this tool. Now my previous experience with, with pressure cooking was me growing up watching my mom have a pressure cooker on the stove top with a little uh, metal disc that would hiss when it would get to pressure and she would basically tell me, don't go near that, it's very dangerous. So do you think as an adult that I ever wanted to pressure cook? No, I thought, no, that's totally dangerous, unsafe, there's no way I'm gonna bring that in my house. And then I saw, you know, the trend of pressure cooking kind of arise in the last few years. And I've always thought, well, I don't really need that. I've got my slow cooker, right? Well, then Pampered Chef released the quick cooker. And as a consultant, you get fun opportunities to get these tools before they actually come out in the catalog. So you can start trying them. And I got this in August before it came out in September. And I thought, okay, I've got to see what this is all about. And I tried it. And one of the main things is that if you're not a good meal prepper or meal planner, and maybe, or maybe you have a plan but you forgot to thaw out your meat, this can save you. So it saves you time, it saves you money because you're not calling for takeout. Um, you are actually able to still make a meal and, be, and feel really good about what you're making. So how this works is that you can throw in like a piece of frozen, um, Pork tenderloin, for example. I did this in one of my first cooking sessions with my pressure cooker, my quick cooker, and I put in a frozen rock hard pork tenderloin. Totally just took it out of the freezer, unwrapped it, put it in here with a cup of water, and 35 minutes later, it was so tender and juicy, and it was completely cooked to the right temperature because I always temp everything to make sure it is. And I just had to cut it up with my salad chopper. If you haven't seen that, look for that. And um, make pulled pork sandwiches. So I'm like, wow, this is pretty cool. I didn't have to plan two days in advance to take my pork tenderloin out and put it in the, pork, in the refrigerator. And instead I could just throw it right in here. So that was a really awesome experience. And then also little things that, it comes with a little quick cooker cooking guide. So all you have to do is just start looking at the different um, charts for vegetables, for rice and grains, for meats, um, 
for beans. So if you've never, if that was another thing that I tried at the beginning and I used to do like overnight soaking of my beans and I thought this is ridiculous, it's a mess and they're not even finished in the morning. So I thought, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna buy my canned beans, like black beans. But then, if you start looking at the sodium content of those, there tend to be about 400 milligrams of sodium per serving. And if you're trying to watch your salt or you just want to have lower sodium in your diet, you want to you know, kind of avoid that kind of thing. But beans are so healthy. So once I got the pressure cooker, I actually thought I'll try the dry beans again in here because it said it was a 25 minute pressure cooking time. So I put three cups of water in, one cup of dry black beans and one tablespoon of oil as it suggests. 25 minutes of pressure cooking time with a few minutes to pressurize at the front end of that. And these beans were like, I took them out of a can. And again, I was like, wow, this is amazing. So this has really changed how I cook. It saves me money because I can buy things like dry beans and cook them up. I can buy rice instead of buying it in a pack where you put it in the microwave and it's already pre-cooked. That's like three times more expensive than if you just buy dry rice or dry beans, same thing. So it saves you time in what you can purchase to put in here. Um, it saves you, or saves you money too, saves you money from, you know, calling to get something delivered to your house because you forgot to thaw out the meat or you just don't have a lot of time to cook. This saves you time because it cooks everything up to 70% faster. So it really is something that if you eat out numerous times a week and you're starting to think, wow, um, that's adding up. The average person actually spends $250 a month eating out. Um, that's a lot of money. And for less than that, you can have the pressure cooker, the quick cooker, and you will be amazed at what it can do. And I have, um, I can answer any questions that you have about it. It is something that I really have been so impressed with. You can see um, how, what, a, what the display panel looks like here, but basically that circle in the middle is a dial and you turn it to all these different things. So it can actually sear so if you want to, you know, maybe a recipe says, you know what, you need to saute some onions and peppers a little bit two minutes before you actually add everything else. You can do that right in here. You don't have to dirty another pan and then add the food in. You can do it right in here. Also, you can slow cook. So if you do want to slow cook something, you can do that. You just set it for up to 10 hours. You can decide how long and you can do that. It can steam. It can also proof things. So if you like to make your own bread and it needs to rise, which is called proofing, you can do that right in here with the ceramic pot that it comes with and then with the accessories and then you take the ceramic pot and you pop it in the oven for homemade baked bread. And then there's the presets for your uh, poultry and chicken, your pork and your beef and then even your seafood. So you can even do salmon in here as well or other types of seafood too. Then there's a stews and chilies setting, a broth and um, stock setting and then the beans, dessert and then all of your grains. So there's a whole bunch of presets and then there's also the uh, ability to customize. So even if you want to use a preset, which chicken is 15 minutes and you want to say, you know what, I think I want to put 20 minutes on this, you can actually do that by just pushing time and adjusting the time. Or if something says, you know what, just press for 10 minutes, you don't need a preset, you can do that as well. So it's really versatile and it can allow you to do so many different things. Maybe you like to make your own broth, Maybe you like to make your own soups, um, all kinds of different things. So this allows me to meal prep. So like a chicken, uh, chicken noodle soup that I wanna have for lunches all week, I could make that on a Sunday in 10 minutes. And the flavor will be like it's been cooking all day. So if you have any questions about the quick cooker, I would love to, to answer them for you. So just um, add them to the comments or private message me, I'm happy to help you. And as a host, I wanna share with you that as a host, you can get this for 50% off. So if you want to get the quick cooker and you wanna change how you do dinner, you wanna save money, you wanna save mega time, then um, definitely tell me either in the comments or in the private message that you wanna host. It's simple, it's easy, it's fun. You can do a virtual party, you can do a catalog party, you can do a cooking party if I live near you. Um, maybe you also want to give this a try as a consultant and then you can get access to these products 
um, to help you. And you can even learn how to be a better cook just by being a consultant. And then you can try all these different things too. So any questions at all, let me know. I'll be sharing a few recipes from my quick cooker today so you can see what those are all about. Tomorrow we are ending the party. So you wanna make sure that you take a look at that catalog that I shared yesterday. And also just ask me any questions because I'm happy to help you with anything you need. Talk to y'all soon.